this scandal has come to change the game forever. Number one, it's less than $600. Second, it comes with an integrated artificial intelligence assistant. It's a Bluetooth scandal, and besides that, it's compatible with all the external accessories for diagnostics like oscilloscope, videoscope, battery tester, tire pressure monitoring assistant. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot with too much. Well, let me introduce you the Mucar 892 BT. It's time to unbox and let's see the benefits right now. Hi, welcome to this episode where I'm going to show you the all new 2025 Mucar 892 BT that it's coming to change the world forever. This presentation, I simply love it because you can simply take it whatever you want. Let's open it up. Let's see. One of the other benefits is that it's also online coding compatible. We have the Mucar Quick Start Guide. <laughs> Here it is. Let's see. Hey, what? No, 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 no. Wait, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. No, no. This is too much. The Bluetooth OBD2 interface. Look. A magnet. It's too amazing. Okay, let's see. Actually, this color, it's... It's compatible with me. <laughs> okay, we can place it over here. Let me start it right away. All right. While it's started, it also has a USB Type-C connection and USB Type-A connection. So let's leave it over here while we're seeing the other accessories. Let's see. Okay, so we have a OBD2 with interface connection to the Ethernet cable. We also have, of course, the charger, which is a USB-A. Oh, and the USB-A to Type-C for the charging system. Obviously, it comes with the grid connection depending on the location and also comes with, the, let me see, a USB Type A to Ethernet adapter. So you connect this directly to the USB. I want to check the artificial intelligence. I am, a, I am an AI enthusiast right now. So uh, I understand that it's an app that it's called Muai. Let me see. Muai. There it is. Muai. Intelligent Assistant. It's capable of answering various questions you have providing more knowledge about automotive and maintenance and care, and even offering assistance in work and study, becoming your personal artificial intelligence assistant. That is so. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask one of the most common questions. Toyota Prius with Diagnostic Travel Co. P0A8. Zero. Help me diagnose this issues and what is the problem? There you go. That should be it. Let's see what it's saying. Here we go. Okay, she's thinking at the moment. All right. The Diagnostic Travel Code P0A80 in Toyota hybrid cars indicate a problem with the high voltage battery pack control system, specifically that the battery pack is not performing as expected. This code often associated with failing or degraded hybrid battery. Step to diagnose. Check the battery pack. Inspect hybrid battery pack for physical damage leaks or corrosion. Ensures all the connections of the battery packs are secure and clean. Use the diagnostic tool, this one for example, to read the live data and confirm the hybrid system's functionality. Check the battery voltage. Check the voltage of each individual cell. Significant voltage different as more than 0.3. It's cost to concern and it will cause the battery to be unbalanced. Uh-oh, where have I heard that before? Inspect the battery cooling system. Ensure the battery cooling is functioning properly. Overheating can cause the battery to degrade faster. Check blockage in the cooling ducts or fan. Where have I heard that before? Probably in 3,000 videos in this channel. <laughs> okay. Check the inverter and converter, inspect the inverter and converter for faults that could affect the battery's performance. Test the battery's state of health. Use the diagnostic tool to check the battery's state of health. A low state of health indicates the battery degradation and needs to be replaced. Obviously, it tells you consult the, the service manual, refer to your Toyota Pro, to, to the previous service manual for specification. Very nice. What is the problem? Degraded falling hybrid battery cells. One or more cells in the hybrid battery pack may have lost capacity or failing. Poor battery cooling, overheating. Faulty battery control module, the battery control module may be malfunctioning. Loose or corroded connection. Isn't this more than enough an artificial intelligence assistant to give you possible solutions to diagnose and explaining you the problem once you enter the diagnostic trouble code? Too much. The other accessory is the modules. 
We have options to connect high pressure monitor, video scope, oscilloscope, and battery tester. I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm gonna connect my oscilloscope right away, but because what happens if I want to diagnose a PWM signal, um, a square wave signal, let me just connect it right away. USB type A port, all right. My scope is functioning. So I got over here my square wave signal from my two channels. This is a two, I think it's a two kilohertz signal. And I also can, what happens if I take off the trigger? Okay, let me use the trigger again to lock the signal. Here we go, there it is. And this is how I got an incredible four channel automotive oscilloscope with my new Mucar 892BT. Too much. Open up my video scope. The video scope also works with no problem. You can even control the light and do visual inspections using the Mucar 892BT. Wow, no, 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 too much. I got another accessories with, which is the tire pressure monitoring unit. I'm also gonna connect it again, let's see. You gotta be kidding me, this is all compatible with no problem. Tire pressure monitoring, all right. Let me see, connecting. There it is, the Ionic. And look, look at the friendly interface that you can connect. And go ahead directly and read the tire pressure monitoring sensor and look, obviously we don't have any sensor at the moment, but you can rewrite, activate and program tire pressure monitoring with the Mucar A92BT. No, 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 a lot with too much. One of the most important accessories, it's of course the 12 volt battery Bluetooth tester which is through this scan tool, I'm gonna to connect this to the 12 volt battery and let's see what's the state of health of my 12 volt battery. Let's go to the car, hook up the battery tester and let's see what's the real condition of my battery using the A92BT. Let's go. I'm gonna connect this to the uh, 12 volt battery right here. And then I wanna see the condition of my 12 volt battery using the car. let's see. All right, now I'm gonna go with says battery tester. All right, let's go to battery health. Let me see, are we gonna, oh look, connection succeed. Uh, voltage 12.59, I know this is a common battery. This is a Japanese standard. This vehicle is, uh, this battery is, uh, let me see, it's a 35 amp hour battery. So I'm gonna place it over here, right here. All right, let's see, what's the condition of my 12 volt battery? There it is, battery power state of charge, 12.59, oh, and the state of health of the battery is 65%. Now, you can see that I'm using my 892 as a battery tester, completely compatible with the battery tester Bluetooth, and works incredible. We're talking about a scan tool, less than $600, and guess what? I have an incredible discount code. If you go right now to my profile, you will find right there in the presentation, the link directly with a special discount if you wanna buy your 892BT. It's time to the main game. Let's see how this scan tool works in a hybrid car. Let's go. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna connect the interface directly in a second. All right, I'm gonna go now to where it says diagnose. Let's see, auto search. Will it work? Being scanned. All right, I'm gonna go with says health report. What she's doing right now is doing a complete scanning of every single module available in the car. It is obviously my car, so you won't, most for sure, you're not gonna find any diagnostic trouble code. However, I wanna go to the bi-directional functions. Let's see what we got here. I'm very surprised. This software is actually very, very fast. So no diagnostic trouble code. I'm gonna go directly to the hybrid control. Holy, that was super fast. Special functions. Let's see my special functions that we have over here. Okay, initialization, inspection mode, high voltage fuse, battery status info reset. Okay, I'm gonna go now to actuation test. Compression test, activate inverter water pump, as well as driving the cooling fan. Let's see if I can drive the cooling fan on maximum speed. Not monitoring data. I'm gonna go to speed number six. Let me see if that's true. Yep, the cooling fan right here, it's operating with no problem. So it has all the function. I'm also gonna go to the live data to read the high voltage battery information. 
I immediately can select everything right here. All right, here it is, value one. I wanna see what's the condition of the high voltage battery live data. I'm also want to see the delta state of charge. Let's see what we get. Okay, so I got all the information right here in the live data. Obviously the delta state of charge is supposed to be zero, which is perfect. Can I combine the graph? <laughs> Let's see. What, there it is. <laughs> no, too much incredible functionality. What can I say? It giving me most of the bi-directional functions. This Mucar 892BT telling me something very clearly. This is a complete game changer automotive scan tool because one of the greatest characteristics is that it's lifetime free subscription with all this functionality. No, 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 no. In my profile, in my channel in English and Spanish, you will see right there the link directly so you can get your Mucar 892BT. This is for me so far my favorite scandal on 2025. If you want to learn more, stick around for more tips. I'll see you then. Bye bye. Don't forget to subscribe and get your new car. Bye bye.